Hi, welcome to Mini Shops How to Sculpt videos with myself, Elizabeth. And today, since it's April 1st and that's all about jokes, I'm sculpting a little series of social memes and puns, starting with Egg Dog. I'd love to see what social memes and puns you guys suggest for me to sculpt, and I'd love to see what you sculpt. So if you send me some photos, I can feature them at the end of a featured video. Let's get sculpting. You'll need a work mat to protect your tabletop. I often just use a piece of paper and that works really well. I need some white clay, some black clay, and some scrap clay. I'll explain that later. You'll need some tools, a potter's needle, or a toothpick will work for this. You'll need some sort of silicone dowel tools, and this one's a finer detailed one, and the ones with the bald end, but you can also use a pen tip or a pencil tip covered with saran wrap. If your dog is going to be bigger than this little guy, you'll need some tin foil to put inside. What we'll do first is we'll take this scrap clay and we will warm it up and kind of roll it around on our hands. This is because when we work with white clay, there's a lot of little hairs that are in the air, debris and everything, and those are usually on your hands. So if you start working with the white clay, then you'll have debris all over it. Next, we'll take our white clay and we will warm it up. We warm it up so it doesn't crack in the oven and we'll warm it up for a minute. And if you're making a dog bigger than this egg dog, then you'll take some tin foil and you'll roll it into a kind of an egg shape. That's so that it cooks more evenly in the oven and the bubbles don't pop your sculpture. If you're making it this size or smaller, just take a little bit of clay, about the size you want your egg dog to be, so you can roll it into a ball between your palms or on your work surface. And if you're rolling between your palms, roll it in where there's this little divot between your palms. Otherwise, it will turn into more of a cylinder shape. And once you have it kind of about like so, roll it ever so slightly back and forth between your fingers. And then as you're doing that, you'll see that it might become a little more have angles here. So you'll tap those to even them out until you have an egg shape that you like. Okay, then we'll take a little bit more clay, about the same amount or less, warm it up, and then we're gonna roll it into a cylinder or a nice fat snake. Once it gets to be about a quarter or an eighth of the size is across here, we're going to tap the end, and then we'll eyeball about center, and then on one side of that line, we'll set this, and we'll break it off. We'll set it on the other side of that halfway imaginary line. Break that off, and we're gonna take our smoothing tool. We're gonna smooth in these edges so they look like one cohesive piece. So once you have those smooth, you can tap them with your fingers to make the even smoother. And if little ridges come up, then you can just use your fingers as well. Once we have that to be about how we would like it, eyeball about how far down the legs are gonna go. So his legs take about a quarter of the full body, so we'll kind of eyeball a quarter, and then we'll take our fingers, hold one of the legs, and pull a little bit, and then bend it. We'll do that on the other leg, and then you can pinch off this portion on one side, and then the other, and then it'll have kind of this little pinch shape so you can tap it around and make it more of a round foot shape. And then we will do that on the other side, eyeballing it up be, to be about the same size, pinching it off, and then tapping it around. Next, we'll take some more white clay. We'll take about as much as is the size of one of the feet, and we'll warm that up. We'll roll it into a ball, just make sure the smooth seams are smooth, and then we'll roll that out into a little small cylinder, and we'll split off about a third from that, keep that size, and we're gonna make it into a small U shape. And we'll set it about two thirds of the way up on this body. This piece of clay, we're gonna split it in two. And one way that you can evenly split clay in two is by rolling it out into a little cylinder or string and fold it in half. And then you can take a tool to split it where that halfway mark is. So roll those into balls 
each one into a ball and we'll set those right in kind of this little basket of this U that we've made. Once we have that, we'll take our smoothing tool and just touch up those lines, make sure this is going to be a seamless, cohesive muzzle here. And now we'll take a tiny, tiny piece of white clay for the underlip portion here, about this much clay, and we'll set it right here. Next, we'll take our larger silicone dowel tool or the bald end, and we're going to make the indents for the eyes. We'll put them right, so here's our center point. We'll put them about halfway over, and then we'll make little indents a little bit deeper. And then with a small one, we'll take it back again. Once you have those indents, we will take our black clay and we'll make the nose first. You'll roll it into a ball and then you'll flatten it. And then just give it a little tap on one of your fingers so that one edge is kind of flat. And then we'll set that on the dog right above where this little portion for the muzzle goes. And we'll take our cotter's needle again, or our toothpick, or our silicone dowel tool, and we will just tap the top. So it's like an arch with a little flat base. And then we'll take about that much clay, again of black clay, and we will split that into two. And then you'll roll those two into balls, and we'll set those in the indents that you've made previously. All right. And then we'll take just a smidge bit of black clay, even smaller than this, and we'll set it right below the nose. And we will smooth that to smear it a little bit. Because we don't want it to look like a mustache, we want it to be slightly gray. And you can make little indents in the nose for the little nostrils. And then just take your white clay and ever so slightly Take it with your potter's needle, flick a little bit of white clay off, set it on top of one of the eyes, and repeat on the other eye. Don't forget to sign your name on the bottom, and I'd love to see the egg dogs that you guys make. That's the best part about these videos, is seeing what you guys make, so feel free to send me a photo. I'll feature them at the end of a future video. I hope you had fun and make lots of fun little sculptures. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.